So los. What's going on guys? Uh, I'm going to do a vlog today. Switching it up a little something different. I'm going to do a movie rant about the movie It. Okay, so I just saw it last night with the homie Peso. But it was so fucking bad that I had to do it. I had to do it, guys. Uh, and I've been, I've been thinking about doing movie reviews for a while. But this, this is it. This is my first one. Not a review, but a rant, you know. Um... Cause my homie Peso, we were, he was wanting like to leave throughout the movie, bro. And I was like, damn, Charlie, we paid like ten, ten fifty for this shit. So I was like, I gotta see it to the end, bro. I gotta get my money's worth. And there was a couple of of couples next to us that did leave early. There's a few people that did leave, and it was a packed house, guys. We actually went there to the nine thirty show, but it was sold out two two uh, rooms, and then we had to wait for the next one, and it was still like packed. So, you know, the movie's getting hits, guys. But he said that, that on the Rotten Tomatoes, it got like 98% reviews. I got to check that stats. But and, I was, and, uh, and this morning, I was looking at the reviews. I was like, damn, Cholo, there's like a lot of like pretty good reviews. I couldn't find a bad one. Uh, maybe I wasn't looking hard enough, but I was like, fuck it, might as well be me. So, anyways... If you're gonna, if you're looking at this, this to see if you should watch the movie, no, you shouldn't watch the movie. I just saved you ten fifty, so you're welcome. Uh, but you're probably gonna watch it anyways, so whatever, okay? Uh, the movie was long, okay? It was like, it seemed like it was five hours. Apparently, it was like two and a half hours or something shit like that. It was long, bro, but it felt like really long, and the reason is because there was just a lot of, a lot of editing that could have been done it was just way the scenes just they just dragged bro and it was so predictable bro so i mean i'm i'm 31 years old so i've seen everything so the only scary movies i've ever seen in my life was the exorcist the original exorcist and maybe the Am amateurville horror that one was pretty pretty good too and maybe the fourth kind that one was pretty crazy. Like when the guys get abducted by aliens, they go like, like all crazy. That was pretty good too. Um, but other than that, movies are not really scary. They're usually just like, uh, they set it up so you expect to see the monster and it doesn't show the monster. And then the next time they set it up, the monster's going to show up when you least expect it because you're you're like already been like the sensitized to it you know what i'm saying and they just spook you out like that and that's generally the formula for most scary movies uh but there's gotta but what i find that makes a good scary movie uh and i'm just shooting from the hip guys so if i'm ranting that's what it is it's a movie rant so just just stay on the journey cholos what makes a good movie is a scary movie is there's gotta be a storyline and you gotta be able to uh, identify with the characters, with any movie. But the storyline is important. You know what I'm saying? There's gotta be like, it's gotta be like some type of mystery, like what's going on, what's going on? And you gotta be some type of intellectual stimulus with the scaring. Or else it's just like, okay, bro, like this is ridiculous. Okay, it's like very predictable, you know? Anyways, so with this movie, man, it was just really fucking predictable, bro. And it was like, what is this clown thing? I was thinking in my head. I didn't remember the original movie. I'm just coming in with fresh eyes. And I don't even know what the hell that shit what that is. It's like a, it's like a worm. Because it was kind of like a fucking, like, like, uh, it has a shit that comes out and bites in the face. But it, 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 it spoiler alert, fuck it. The people are like some of them he kills, but but most of the kids are like hanging in on the fucking stratosphere, bro, in his lair, and they're just like floating like this, like like that, like like what the fuck? I don't get it. So he, so he feeds on their fear, but he eats their flesh, and he's like not an alien, he's not a demon, just some weird thing. I don't know what it is, bro, but it shape shifts. 
I don't know, bro. I wish... I didn't read the book either, bro, but I wish that the, it would have explained what that shit actually is. Because all it is is, like, the little fat kid in the in the movies, like, reads books in the library. He's like, oh, it comes every 27 years, blah, blah, blah. But we don't get to that storyline until, like, two-thirds of the movie, bro. And it's like, oh, God, man, you know, that's exposition, bro. That could have... That could have helped us out a little bit earlier, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was just a, a lot of it dragged between. It was like interplay with characters between. There's that love triangle with the fat kid, the stupid girl, and the fucking uh, the idiot kid with the weird haircut. I don't know. Um, and I don't know, man. It was just stupid. Like the opening scene, bro. It was like, like the again. I didn't read the book, so you know. I, in the books, things are different. You know, movie, it's got to have beats. You know what I'm saying? It's got to have beats. It's got to be like, you know, you got to be on a certain time frame. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. In the opening scene, it's like a storm and the stupid stutter kid and his stupid little brother. And he's making a stupid fucking uh, boat, paper boat. And the stupid little kid goes outside by himself i'm like why is he letting his little brother go outside in the rain by himself just to put a fucking boat in the a paper boat in the in the shit right in the in the water in the gutters I think, okay whatever and of course the stupid little kid <laughs> runs around hits his head and then keeps running i'm like okay this is kind of dragging now let's get to the point let's let's find the clown finally sees the clown clown rips his fucking arm off Never see the kid again. Like, who does that, bro? Like, I've never... Like, you, you never let kids run outside in the fucking rain by themselves. Like, down the street and shit. Like, why would you ever let a kid run... Like, a little toddler run in the fucking rainy-ass street by himself? Like, I don't get it, bro. Like... If it wasn't the clown, it would have been some child molester. It would have been a, a car and it hit him in the fucking head or hit him and that was it. But whatever. Okay, that was just that, just to give you a, 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 you know, that was the opening scene, you know. They could have cut that shit in like one minute, bro. I don't know why it dragged on for five minutes. But anyways, whatever. And then what else did I didn't like about that shit? The, the music sucked. The music sucked, bro. It was just very, very stereotype generic car movie like like weird sounds there's a there's a lost art in 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 movie music i'm telling you bro don't let me get started that's another ramp bro but it's just crap bro there's just no artistry these days bro anyways whatever i didn't like the music so sorry whoever composed it whatever i thought it was trash sorry bro it was just very generic um, stereotypical. Anyways, uh, the, so that I didn't like the music because the music is important for the movie, bro. Like in Psycho, they had some good ass music, bro. Like, ee, 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 ee. uh, you know, fucking Jaws had a good music, da na da na da na da na da. You know, shit like that. You got it's gotta be memorable, right? Anyways, whatever. So I didn't like the acting. I didn't like the acting. They had this little kid with the glasses, and he's supposed to be the comedic guy, but he was kind of annoying half the time. Sometimes it's like hit or miss. It's like, okay, it's funny, or sometimes it's not funny. And all of the jokes or humor was very predictable, bro. It was very potty, potty humor, little kid potty humor. And, and, and I'm the king of potty humor, bro, so I know a potty humorist when I see one. But... um. It was just like, you know, it's like dick jokes and your mama jokes. It was like, all right, guys. All right, okay, okay. We got it. We got it. They could have cut a lot of that shit out and just kept some of the punchy ones. You know, like when they're editing the film, they would be like, you know, let's fucking delete this scene. We really don't need the scene, you know? Whatever. And then the acting sucked. Uh, the little kids, it was annoying. And then it got to a point where it's just like, it hit me like a ton of bricks, bro. It was like, this movie is like a fucking knockoff of Stranger Things. You know, in the in the way that it was directed. Like, very character, little kid relationship-centric. You know? 
and it's like you know these are little kids bro they're not important you know what i mean they're like the little love triangle i'm like dude they're little kids bro like it, like the whole movie and then he finally kisses the girl in the end bro it's like and then she was just like like staring like all like lovey dovey for like five seconds so i was like freeze the hole like hold that hole hold that pose like couldn't do it bro it was so predictable bro whatever and they're little kids like i said so after a while it's just like man like this is like not adults and like the 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 camera angles where a lot of them were like low angle shots and it's just like man i was just getting tired of of, of these little fucking kids bro and then the, they had the bullies with the you know the kids and it was like straight up do stranger things bro and stranger things was a hit that was a hit that's gustavo look for even proof bro um that's actually based on a true story the montauk project by the way if you don't know that research it. google it you're welcome um and that was a hit it had good music and had good acting and it was a hit this one was like a rip off of that because what i think what happened under the scenes behind the scenes bro is the producers were like you know what stranger things was a hit let's make this shit like stranger things let's base it on the 80s let's have it character driven with little kids Let's have, you know what I'm saying, like, bullies and shit. You know, let's ha- Fuck all that shit, bro. I mean, the main thing of the movie was the fucking clown, bro. And all we know about the clown is that it comes up back every 27 years or whatever, or 29 years, whatever. It lives in the fucking t- house s- somewhere. And we don't know what the fuck it is. And then what really grinds my gears is at the end of the movie, they have, like, chapter one chapter one like like they're gonna come back like when they're adults 29 years later and the, the clowns get, and there's gonna be a sequel it's just like really bro like you guys are that obvious is that what it is because that's what it sounds like i don't know man um i think I, that's not probably the end of my rant so the only thing i liked about the movie to sum it up was i did like the cinematography they had some good shots in there like some like kind of long cranes or drones or something it was really well done the low angles on the characters got old after a while because they're little kids because i started to hate these little fucking kids after the end of the movie bro um and you know like there every kid has like a little problem or a little issue that they deal with and that fear the clown feeds on it but it was like really predictable shit man it was like all right all right whatever dude it would have been nice to see some like like the clown killing adults or some shit but i didn't write the book so i don't know i didn't read the book either so i don't know um so you know if i had to rate this movie guys it would be like a really well done bad movie so i'd give it a five out of five in the production but i would give it a zero out of five in terms of actual like movie you know what I'm saying? Like, what I, re- what I recommend this shit. I'm like, well, you know, it's got, you know, like, very well done visuals for the time. That's about it. You know? Uh, yeah, man. I mean, I just was not scared at all through the movie, man. It was so predictable. Thanks for watching. If you like me doing movie rants, uh, you know, do a comment or some shit. Do so, or or if you hate me doing movie rants, put that in the comment too, so I get some feedback. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, grow this channel and shit. And uh, yeah, man, if there's some recommendations, I'll, I'm probably thinking that I'll go to when I when there's a movie new movie, I'm gonna go to check it out that I want to see, and I'll and I'll do a, a a movie rant if I feel something about it or whatever because the last couple movies i saw in the theaters i don't go off because they're expensive bro they're expensive now but i did see the tupac movie and the ghost in the shell movie i didn't like either of those either i'm a big tupac fan i'm a big ghost in the shell fan i think they fucked those up too uh i don't know man there's like this thing in hollywood movies that i've been seeing where it's just the script ain't right bro the script ain't right bro they need to cut they need to cut that script down to like a fucking just bare bones you know what i mean anyways wait a minute okay